name is Jeff Ewalt and I'm a placing judge here at Keeneland as well as Churchill Downs and Kentucky Downs. And primarily what we do is keep track of the top four runners in the race and just observe the race with our binoculars and call out the numbers as they change the, the top four running positions. One person will be in there running the, the board, keying in the numbers. And as they finish, write down the order of the finish as, as we see it. Once we've done that, we go in and take a look at the photo finish image to see uh, <laughs> if any of us were actually correct. Now, occasionally, we'll, we'll have a very, very close finish where we'll have to spend a little more time looking at the image, have the uh, photo finish person actually expand the image, which they can do digitally now. Once upon a time, it was done with 35 millimeter film, and it was a little tougher to do. The camera is, is technically only an aid. The way the rules are written, the judgment of the placing judges is the final call. And the photograph is actually an aid. And in cases where there's no photographic image, which does happen, it's up to us to make a determination there. When there is a close finish, we can, we can refer to the, to the mirror, which gives you the reverse image of the finish. And if we can't see a horse's nose and we can't approximate where we logically would think the horse's nose would be, we'll generally just call it dead heat. You know, if you, if you can't see it, you can't see it. It's not rocket science. <laughs> Two nine, everybody all right? Once Two those nine, numbers three, are posted four, seven, and the stewards have reviewed Two the uh, running of the race a couple of times, and they're satisfied they have no objections or any, any problems with the running of the race, they make the determination that a, the race is official. Right now, we have uh, the track system, which actually show the uh, numbers of the horses as they're running around the track in relative position. And those are the numbers that are on the board. And ours are, are used as backups should the uh, track us fail. Once the race is finished and they've crossed the line and we've reviewed the film, I will call the mutuals department to give them the top five numbers so that they can begin their calculations. Then I will call Equibase, which is right next door, the chart callers to give them the order of finish. Then once it's official, we can call it around to the assistant clerk of scales down in the jockey's room, give him the official order of finish. I also call the horseman's bookkeeper and give her the official order of finish. And in the instance that the race is a Kentucky Thoroughbred Development Fund enhanced purse, I need to call the horse identifier as well. And she takes those numbers and does her calculations. And like I say, it's not rocket science. <laughs> My favorite part of the job is the people, I guess. You get to know people uh, who scatter from track to track, and, and, and you'd be amazed at how many people that you can network with. The trainers from all over the world, as well as my coworkers. I uh, particularly like the people that I work with. Most of us have been working together for, oh gosh. Let's put it this way, we're growing old together. We've become fast friends over the years and uh, rely on each other and we all have each other's backs and uh, it's a very good, very good crew.